the evolution of telescope. In 1609, the Yuan Galileo gave birth to the modern astronomy with a humblest of instruments. Its 1.5 inches lens were displayed and symbol wooden tube. Galileo lens magnified the heavens, bringing Earth's moon, sunspots, and nearby planet in focus. In 1668, the Newtonian telescope is a type of reflecting telescope invented by the British scientist Sir Isaac Newton. He used the concave primary mirror and a flat diagonal secondary mirror. Newton's first reflecting telescope was known as Functional Reflecting Telescope. In 1789, Sir William Herschel discovered the planet Uranus with a handmade reflecting telescope. Eight years later, with the funding from King George III, Herschel completed the construction on his 40-foot telescope in England. Because of the massive size and weight, it was less effective than hoped. In 1840, John William Dropper produced the first photograph of the moon. In 1845, Lord Rosie completed his construction on his first reflecting telescope. With a 6-foot diameter primary mirror, it allowed him to discover the first spiral nebulae. In 1897, the 40 inches telescope at Jury Planetarium was completed. It still remains the largest reflecting telescope ever built. His ideal telescope were pioneered by Isaac Newton in the 17th century. In 1917, the Hooker 100-inch telescope saw its first light at Mount Wilson in Pasadena, California. One of its most significant discoveries that made by Edwin Hubble was his determination of the distant Andromeda Nebula in 1924, and his subsequent conclusion that the nebula lay beyond the bounds of the Milky Way galaxy. In 1930, Kai Kompos discovered Pluto through the 13-inch telescope at Lowell Planetarium, Arizona. In 1948, the 200-inch Hyo telescope on the Palomar Mountain, California has discovered galaxies and quasars. In 1990, Shuttle Discovery lifted the Hubble Space Telescope into orbit. It has been recording our universe in an unparalleled detail. It has been in space for a decade and has been home new revelations about life and death of stars natural of our expanding universe. In 2005, the Twin Mirror Large Binocular Telescope saw its first light in Arizona. It delivers images 10 times sharper than the Hubble Space Telescopes. This LBT belongs to the new generation of giant telescopes. It's hoped to carry our eyes to the edge of the universe and to shed light on the remaining mystery of astronomy. In the 20th century, telescopes could be used to produce images by using other wavelengths, other than visible light. The first radio telescope was built by Roti Weber in 1937. It discovered that the Milky Way was a source of radio emission. X-rays from space do not reach the Earth's surface, so X-ray astronomy has to be conducted in the Earth's atmosphere. X-ray telescopes have been using nested grazing incident mirrors with deflected X-ray to a detector. Most of the gamma ray telescopes are absorbed high in the Earth's atmosphere. Therefore, most of gamma ray astronomy is conducted with satellites. Gamma ray telescopes use solid state detectors. These devices do not give out clear images as the other ones. Ultraviolet telescopes resemble optical telescopes. Since the ultraviolet radiation is mostly absorbed in the ozone layer, most of ultraviolet astronomy is conducted with satellite. Infrared telescopes are built on high mountains where there is little absorption by the atmospheric water vapor. It surveys the entire sky, detecting 245,000 infrared sources, more than 100 times less known numbers. Finally, it does not matter which kind of telescope and who invented these their own great contribution to the science of astronomy. These telescopes enable us to expand our horizon to the great mysterious world out there. I hope everyone learned something from this video and enjoy watching it. Thank you very much!